Hello. Probably not enough lighting. Got my hair hair tied up. Um, I just really I usually I don't do it on Fridays, but um, I was thinking about that shooting in Oregon in the university there. Um, and how many shootings we have? So I was actually very shocked. I don't even know why I was sort of shocked. I was, you know, it's it it it, it got to a point to where it is really a lot of these so-called crazy or long rules or something wrong with them and you know, uh, people going into places and shooting up. It, and um, I think a lot of the problems that we have in society is that we, it's not that we can't address the real issues, but there might be too many uh, trees in the forest to, to see the trees. Um, because I think, again, I think we really have to rethink the way we do our education system. We really have to rethink the way uh, we have our health system. Because I think that really the way it is now, we don't have a primary caregiver. You know, it's like, oh, well, you go find this person, you go find this person. He doesn't have any prior history of you, like a, maybe, a, you know, well, a, 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 you know, like a you know, pre-adolescence or whatever type of history. So I think that that, that, that is like a big uh, issue too. And then our schools sort of, you know, fell us too, because I think the number one place that we could make sure that, you know, uh, we're on the right track to develop a healthy intellect is uh, in the school system. And, um, you know, because in the school system, you do have bullies, you do have uh, uh, kids that are scapegoats, and not only do they get, bu then they get bullied at home. The same person that gets bullied at school gets bullied at home you know, maybe by abusive parent or the work parent. So I think a lot of it is that we have to think really, you know, it, I, 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 it is a gun issue. I think that we have way too many guns, but we have way too, a lot of hate. You know, it's just like that lady in Kentucky, you know, she's like, you know, what would it have to really do with her religion or anything, you know, uh, with her life, you know, they're not going to, the gay uh, community that wants to get married, it, uh, they go down to the courthouse, it's not going to affect her paycheck, you know, if she signs, she, I, I don't know how, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, how, you, you know what I'm saying, so we have a, we have a double binding, a hypocritical way that we, uh, uh, you know, like, she's a double binding hypocrite in the sense that she wants you to recognize her her right to have a religious, but she's not going to recognize the right to somebody else. You know, it's just like you know, and 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 then we we have that a lot. It's like like I went to the store, right? Stupid Muslim. Yeah, I know he's related to Tony. Probably Tony's son. The way he looks a little like him, right? So I go in there, and it's you know, it's it's a little longer walk, right? Well, anyway, but I I realized that he's charging me twelve dollars for two beers, so I go back there. And he's like, oh, well, I forgot to give you these two cigarettes, and I forgot to do this. And I'm like, nah, just take this and, you know, give me my money back. And then he's still, like, playing all this game because, you know, like, oh, she's crazy. So, like, you know, she's stupid. And I'm like, look, man, give me $12.78. And he pulls out the calculator, like, playing this game. And I'm like, okay, you need, the, you, need the, you need that calculator, but I graduated from elementary school. You know what I'm saying? So he gives me my money back, right? And then, you know. They're gonna tell me, well, you can't come back in the store like the other one, right? Because see, and that's that's the biggest thing. It is, it's like they'll do wrong, but they can't admit to do wrong. It's like the police in Ferguson. They shot the person. They can't admit to do wrong. Therefore, you cannot grow, you cannot learn from, uh, 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 you, you know, from your actions. Uh, so you, 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 uh, you, you, your growth mentally retards. You know what I'm saying? So you know. So then, then what happens? You know, you got to strike out. Oh, they're stupider than me. <laughs> well, anyway, so I got my $12 back. I look, I turn around, I look them down in the face, and I'm like, you know, I understand you come from a rape culture. You know, I understand that. 
You know what I'm saying? But I understand, I'm not a Christian, so I'm not a thief. I ain't never stole from you. You shouldn't steal from me. If I came in your store like that, you'd call 911 immediately. You know what I'm saying? You know, oh, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, like, in, 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 you know, like, people decide, oh, I can treat you a certain way because now I done labeled you, I done put you in that way. Well, don't get crazy mixed up with stupid. Don't get crazy mixed up with anything. And the only thing maybe that's crazy about me is maybe everybody else is not. You know what I'm saying? They say if you're the only normal person, you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because here, here are these, you know, they, he looking at me. I'm like, you coming from a war zone any fucking way. Your parents come from a war zone. I see how you treat women, okay? You know, I've been to a women's group, uh, 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 group. And I, like, I, 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 you know, I'm wearing my scarf this way, but I look good when I wear a scarf. Like, I can wear a scarf like an Arab anyway and look good. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, we're, we, we, we wore scarves in the old days, like, and the, the, old, the older people, like, when you go on out there, cover up your ears, you cover up the back of your neck so you won't get ticks, I guess, in the hairline or whatever, something in your ear. You know what I'm saying? To protect yourself while you're out there. You know, the, you know, tradition. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 but we have gotten away from the reality and the reason why certain traditions got started. You know what I'm saying? They, the elderly, like at least in my case, in my family, they did it because uh, of them making mistakes and learning from their mistakes. You know, we've had so many shootings in these universities, but it doesn't seem like we learn from our mistakes. We, we're, we're still treating our children the same way, you know, uh, we, 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 we're still uh, uh, judging and jeopardizing and, 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 and um, not, not giving uh, um, their children the right type of information they need so they can be healthy enough to be able to, to um, navigate their self or, or society. You know, this this is this is very shocking that again we could have another shooting uh, in a university. We have another shooting in a school. You know, there has to be some type of immediate change. You know, we can't we can't we have a society where our justice system is so twisted. I've seen people that was in the justice system, right, go in juvenile, little virgin, and come out. You know, a, a, a pervert, and and the only way they want to have sex is through pain. So we have to think about, you know, when you're getting these kids at a young age, you know, and you and and, and you're in, in, in the sexual, in the physical, and the verbal, you know, like, because uh, uh, like I, I walk past this uh, 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 Mitchell High, you know, the kid's gonna just yell at me something nasty, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? I come back, you know, you got to think about my mama. You know, I grew up saying mama jokes. And, you know what I'm saying? They don't even they don't even have a comeback. All they do is just say, you know, they're so damaged. They're so hurt. You know what I'm saying? You know, like you come back. Now I don't, I don't know. I did you. I don't struck the string. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? I can look at them, okay? I've been checking people out ever since I got up in this world. I can look at you. I can, I can check you out. I'm not going to judge you on who so, so, and so, and so, but I'm going to look at you. And like I told that guy in the store, I'm like, okay, you can judge me if you want to, but God's going to judge you for your actions and for what you do. Okay, so you can worry about me being crazy, or you can think I'm stupid, or you can think that, whatever. And if he thought, and he's like, don't come back in my store, I'm like, cool, cool, that ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Why would I want, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 see, the thing is, they, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, put that other, I'm laying there with two receipts, you know, because, like, the way things got fucked up. I'm like, no, nah, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And he thought I was going to go all like that. Oh, well, she crazy. She a crackhead. You know what I'm saying? I can't be all these motherfucking negative motherfuckers that you want me to. And nobody can. I don't know what was up with that kid. But first of all, for a child with that hue. To go bald headed at that age, it, it, somebody wasn't helping him out to have him, you know, present his best look. You know what I'm saying? If I decide, like, look, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what you think about my hair. You know what I'm saying? 
because I'm more relevant than that. Then, then, you know what I'm saying? Then I can wear my hair wherever I want to. You can think whatever you want to. How, uh, look, I got plenty of people criticize my look 24-7. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I see the same person that criticized my look. I snap back on something about them. Like, just say, like, just pick one thing wrong with them. Like, they fat or something, you know, or they drool or something, whatever. And the bitch going to cry. They going to go look for something. They going to, you know what I'm saying? But you can sit there all day long, and you can talk bad about somebody, you know what I'm saying? But, you you, you know, you can dish it up, but you can't take it. You know what I'm saying? And they, and you ain't learning, because you, you taught it. I mean, I couldn't believe, like, I'm like, why why is my fucking tax money? Why do I deserve my tax money to go that, so we can make some children that, that don't know nothing? And what, do we just pump them out so they can go to jail? Or they can just be so frustrated so unable to connect, and, and, and they, you know, like, they, they want this illusion, this American dream that they're, they, they're not going to be able to reach. You know, they can't reach it. They can't afford it. They can't get the jobs. They're not getting the right education. You know, you get a bunch of frustrated, you know what I'm saying? And then you mix in, you know, you know, racism in with that. And judgmental. And, and, and I'm here to tell you, you know, some of you Christians need to check yourself. It ain't no sense going around hurting people's feelings. And you talk because I'm a Christian. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we got a problem here. We got a major problem. I think we need to stop whooping these kids and start talking to these kids about information that could be useful to them. Like, I don't care. Like, if, if you cook and you need to let them know, like, even just for, like, like, uh, your convenience later on, if you're a hard-working person, if you start teaching them how to cook something six years old, maybe you come home from work one day, and they nine years old, look, Mom, I done made a, 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 a delicious meal here. I learned from you. We're having grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup or something. You know, whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or are they are they sitting there uh, 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 and they're, and then maybe they're not preoccupied uh, uh, on looking on the computer or the internet, but maybe they're sitting there and they decide, you know what, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to build my own short web radio for emergency or something. You know, maybe they're sitting there for, you know, two or three days, like, you come home and, and they're quiet because they preoccupied. But, you know, this kid was preoccupied with the wrong stuff. You got them preoccupied with the wrong stuff, you know, because we're not giving them the right information. You know, some has to be done. We need new gun laws. We need our education system fixed, and we need to fix our thinking too, as grown-ups, as parents, and how we treat these children that's supposed to take over tomorrow. Because you know, uh, 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 if you don't like them as a teenager, and the police is going around and have to shoot them because they're scared of them, and they're all criminals and White folks coming off as a bunch of racist, murdering, uh, uh, warmongers, you know, that we have to go to one war after the next because of some, you know, they scared. Or we got to, you know, the kids got to worry about uh, 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 the greenhouse effect. You know, they have to worry about all these things that they don't have any control with because they don't have enough knowledge to go and fix it because the grown-ups is too busy playing this little let's judge somebody and let's point fingers at other people and let's have a scapegoats and be a little bully. And we have this disgusting shooting after shooting. Why? Why do these people have to not be here anymore? I don't my condolence to the family, to the friends and relatives of the people that got injured and the people that got shot, uh um, they're no longer with us. It, it, it's it, it it we have to fix it, and it's not just gun law. We definitely have to do something about that. Everybody has a gun, you know, but nobody has common sense. You know, what do these people do? What do they do? What do these people do to him? What, well, how's that going to solve what, you know, the problem that caused that boy to be like that? 
their actions. They don't think past their ass. Their actions doesn't make their actions. You know what I'm saying? They they, they was treated cruel. You know in my way because like if, if anybody, I'm just going by his haircut. That's one thing I see in that picture. You know that, that that was cruel on belief that his mother was you know like not have talked to him and helped him out to have his you know say where he could look. Never mind. Not never mind. Sometimes we have. We have to fix our school system. We have to fix our justice system. 